everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today is the day your favorite Minecraft channel is going to show you how you can add crossplay to your Minecraft Java Edition server. What I mean by that is you're going to be able to play via Minecraft on your phone or Minecraft Bedrock Edition, which is what the edition on your phone is, on a Java server. This is truly revolutionary. It is the first thing of its kind to ever do this, and there's a few major networks already using this. So it's pretty tested, pretty well tested, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install it on your server. Now, there is some port forwarding involved here on a lot of Minecraft hosts. They already have that taken care of for you. However, if you're on your own, like hosting a server on your own local computer, you are going to need to port forward. I'm not going to be going over that in this video, but I will be telling you what port you need to forward. And luckily, we have an in-depth guide on port forwarding for Minecraft in the description down below. Normally, you have to forward port 25565. That is the case here as well. You have to port forward port 25565, but you'll also need to forward 19132. So you need to port both ports 25565 and 19132. We'll actually go ahead and put those on your screen right now so you can see like what those are like as you can see right here on your screen it ports 25565 and port 19132 both of those need to be forward in order to play with geyser now 25565 is for people with java edition to join your server and port 19132 is for people with bedrock or mobile edition to join your java server so all this is going to be based on a java server so you're going to need a java server set up now we already have a paper server set up that is what we would recommend running with this. By the way, you need a paper or spigot server to be able to run Geyser MC. We would recommend using paper. We have an in-depth guide on starting a paper server in the description down below. And it's super quick and super easy to start a paper server with Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your very own paper Minecraft server quickly and easily. And the server that we're going to be using this on right here, or the server we're going to be setting Geyser up for, is just for your friends and family, basically your people you can trust. However, if you want to start a server where people anywhere in the world, no matter if you know them or not, you can, jo can join your server, a public server, you're going to need to use someone like Apex Minecraft Hosting. Luckily, you can set up guides around Apex Minecraft Hosting quickly and easily. They have guides on how to do that. We love Apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, you can check out Apex in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to start your server quickly and easily, and easily add Geyser to it and get it set up. Nevertheless, enough talking, let's go ahead and get Geyser set up. Again, we're assuming that you have your paper server set up already on your computer, and that you've port forwarded with your router ports 25565 and ports 19132. All right, so the first thing we need to do is obviously download Geyser. So to do that, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that's going to take you here. Now, Geyser MC is what this is called, and as you can see, enabling clients from Minecraft Bedrock Edition to join Minecraft Java servers. That's huge. A first of its kind to ever do that. Now let's go ahead and click on the download button up here in the menu bar, and then it's going to take us to here. Now this is what they call a build server. It's kind of like how devs can release stuff in a non-pretty way, right? Paper is pretty, you know, beautiful, if you will, on how it releases stuff. They have this really cool uh, downloads page on paper, right? It's, it's, it's really, really cool, and one of the best looking download pages of out there, right? Guess what this is based on, right? If you go to Legacy, I believe, it's going to take you... Let's see, can you access their build server anymore? Basically, this beautiful looking GUI is based on one of these, right? So that's no worries about this looking a little weird. But once you're here, though, you want to download this for Spigot. Now, we're going to be using this for Spigot and paper servers. If you're on Bungie Cord, the process is a little different. You'll download the BungieCord.jar, and you'll just install it on your Bungie Cord server. You heard that right. You just need to install Geyser on your Bungie Cord servers. You don't need to install it on your Spigot servers if you're running Bungie Cord. However, in this tutorial, we are running paper slash Spigot, and that's it. There's no Bungie Cord involved, so we need to just go ahead and download Geyser Spigot for our server. So we just click on that and it's going to automatically download the bottom left. We will need to keep or save this file. It's 100% safe to do so. We can go ahead and click keep there. Boom. Now we go ahead and minimize our browser. Here on our desktop, let's go ahead and refresh real fast. We have Geyser Spigot right here. Now, as I said, we've already got our paper 1.16.5 server set up there, right? It's already set up. It's already running. It's already good to go. So let's go ahead and open up that server. Here it is. And then we have the plugins folder. It's super it's simple to install Geyser. Just drag and drop it into your plugins folder, and that's that. Now we want to go ahead and double click on the run.bat file, and it's going to run our server, right? As it normally would run your server. I'm going to go ahead and show you the config file on Geyser because if you need to change your port, which you sometimes need to do if you're hosting it on a server host like Apex Minecraft Hosting, you will need to reach out to Apex Support, by the way, to ask them what ports to put Geyser on for your server. It's super simple. They have 24-hour support, right? So it's super easy to do that. But nevertheless, you will need to do that and you will need to change your port. So to do that, you want to come in here to Geyser Support and then come in here to Config, right? So when you click on the config.yml, it's going to open up with my text editor, which is Adam. 
no affiliation there. There are much better text editors out there than Atom, but this is what I use. When you open it up here, you will be able to see all of the different stuff involved. So the IP address that will listen for connections, there's no reason to change this unless you want to limit the IPs that you can connect to your server, right? Exactly. You don't want to change that. Just leave it the same. And the port right here is what I was talking about. You may need to come in here and change the port for your you know, server connection if you're on a host. For example, you might have to change it to something like 58974. It doesn't matter what it is. But by default, it's 19132. And I'm assuming you're going to be able to leave it default. If you're on a server host, though, you might need to change it. You can also come in here and change your message of the day. This will be what shown to Bedrock Edition clients. So we're going to go ahead and just change this to Breakdown Craft. And then we're going to change the IP to IP, not IP. We're going to change it to IP play.breakdowncraft.com. That's our incredible Minecraft server, by the way. Now the server name, the server name will be sent to Minecraft Better Engine clients. It's also visible on the pause menu of the settings. We'll go ahead and change that to Breakdown Craft because why not? So you can also go through the rest of these settings. Truthfully, a lot of them just need to be left the same. You don't need to mess with them. Um, there is a link in the description down below to the Geyser FAQ, which does have some of the you know different scenarios that you might need to change some of this. For example, how do you include Bedrock players in the whitelist and different things like that is, is there. So it's kind of interesting. You can go check that in the description down below. But overall, this is the kind of setup that you have, right? So let's go ahead and save this config file. And we're obviously going to stop the server and restart it, right? I need to update my Java. That's what all this yellow is. But uh, we're going to stop this. And once it's stopped, we're going to restart the server, right like so. Let's go back over here and restart the server. And now I'm going to show you that you can join this server off Java Edition. That's the first thing I'm going to do is join this server off Java Edition just to show you that it is a Java Edition server. There's no trickery here. Uh, so we're going to be joining off of my primary account, which is the Nix Games account and joining in here and testing this server. Then I'm gonna join in on my alt into the same server so you'll be able to see it all at one time. Now, it is gonna be a little tricky because you know in our editor, our wonderful editor is gonna to have to put this together. But nevertheless, we're gonna be showing you on my phone, on a Bedrock Edition, my alt joining in and we're going to show you my main account Nix games on java edition it's going to be kind of cool hopefully if we can pull this off but uh shout out to the editor in the description down because it's going to be a little bit more of a complicated one in comparison to a lot of our other videos but nevertheless i'm gonna go ahead and let this open i will meet you once minecraft java edition is open here all right so here we are on the minecraft main menu so Basically, Geyser's up and running. Our server's up and running here. As you can see, there is Geyser up in it. And on top of that, I'm going to be able to join this on my IPv4 address instead of like my public IP. Now, when you're joining from your mobile device, you'll need your public IP address. So how do you find that? Well, in the description down below, we have a link, the breakdown at XYZ slash what's my IP, and it will take you here. Now, as you can see, here's my public IP address. I have this written down. So yeah, I'm going to basically have it once we get on our phone, but it's blacked out here. You can only see the point 100 at the end and that point 100 will transfer to our phone. Now, again, I don't need to use that on my, you know, computer here because I'm hosting the server on the same computer that I'm playing Minecraft on. So if this was a public, you know, server or something like that, you would need to use your public server's IP to join. But in this case, I can use my local IP address. So let's go ahead and minimize our browser and multiplayer direct connect. I've already got the IP address entered in there, join server. And then here we go. Nix games has joined on in. So that is my, as I said, my main account, right? So we're right here at spawn. I'm going to go ahead and do one quick thing. I'm going to up myself because I don't want to die at night here. Uh, we're trying to test this. So let's go ahead and do, um, do game mode creative. There we go. I was like, how do I not die? There we go. So we've got this set up. This is Java edition. Now go get your public IP address from the description down below and let's go ahead and open up bedrock edition. So I'm going to leave this recording going, but we're going to go ahead and in a few seconds, I'm loading up Java Edition. Hold on. Or uh, not Java Edition, Bedrock Edition. I'm going to go ahead and start the recording on my phone. All right, let's go ahead and sync this for the editor. All right, so we've allowed our editor to sync it up. And now we are in the basically phone version of Minecraft. This is Minecraft Bedrock Edition. We're signed into our Microsoft account over here on the right-hand side. Now all we want to do is go ahead and hit play. Then we want to go to servers like you would join any other server, but we want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and click on add server at the bottom. Now for the server name, you can make this whatever. I'm just going to name it Breakdown Craft because that's our awesome server. Now we're not going to be joining actually Breakdown Craft here. It's just an example. Now the server address, this is where that public IP comes in. So this is going to be blacked out except for the 100 at the end for you. And the keyboard's also going to be blacked out here for a second. So actually, let's just jump cut this until I enter it. So there we go. The IP address is entered in. As you can see, the 100 is all you can see. The rest of it is blacked out for our own privacy, but it's still pretty cool. You can see the 100 matches there as it matched earlier whenever we pulled it up on our computer on our web browser. This is going to be the public IP address of the computer that you are hosting your Java Edition server on or 
on the remote host that you're hosting your Java Edition server on. So if you're hosting it with like Apex Minecraft hosting, you would get the IP address of your server there and enter it in here. Now the difference is the port here at the bottom. Now the port for us is 19132. That's the port you had to forward earlier, right? So that's what that's going to be. However, it could be different. If you had to change the port in the config file that we mentioned earlier, like you're hosting it on Apex or something like that, you would change this port number to whatever you had it on the, you know, basically on Apex or your remote server host. So there we go. IP is blacked out. Let's go ahead and hit play and it's going to join us right on in game. Now it's given us this warning that we're playing on a multiplayer screen. That's okay. Let's go ahead and proceed. And then it's going to log right on in. Now, the thing is you have to have a Java edition account in order to play via your phone. Now, most people, this is going to be an issue with um, a lot of people have both Java edition and you know, Bedrock Edition accounts. If that's the case, unfortunately, you do need to go buy a Java Edition account. Now, you can log in here either with your Microsoft account or with your Mojang account. I have a Mojang account. So I'm going to go ahead and log in, enter my username and password here. Obviously, I'm not going to show you this. I'm just going to hit submit and then show you what happens whenever you do that. All right, so once you have logged in, it's going to put you right in game. And uh, there we go. Boom, we are now in game. And the most important part is if we look around here, there is my main account. Um, it's looking the wrong way. Let's go ahead and uh, navigate on over here. I'm not used to playing on my phone. All right, there we go. So we turn around and here we are. We are on mobile on our Nick King account here. And on the Nick's Games account, which you're seeing on your mobile edition right now, we are up. So let's go ahead and bring these side by side and we're gonna show you what this looks like. So I'm gonna hold this with one hand and jump on the mobile edition, right like so. And I'm going to come over here on Java edition and move around as well. So you can see I'm moving around. I'm jumping on both of these accounts right now. It's really, really cool. And uh, I can actually fly on the on, on this account. I can't fly on the Nick King account. So yeah, but nevertheless, you can see those side by side. We have one mobile or over under. I don't know exactly how he'll edit these together, but we do have both of them there. And you can just play. You, you can play normally if you wanted to go here and like break this block, for example, you can do that. So let's see, we go in here. I'm not used to playing on mobile edition. How do you break a block? There we go. Boom, we can come here and break this block. Oh, we can't because we're not we're not opt. Hold on, let me go ahead and opt the Nick King account real quick. So opt Nick King, there we go. Now we should be able to break this block. And you can also see that this chat up here on the Bedrock Edition actually allowed us to be able to uh, see that we were made a server operator and it'll work just like in game. So for example, if we want to click up here on our chat and then type in a command, we can do slash, oh, excuse me. We can come in here and do slash, game mode, creative, so slash game mode, oh, come on, game mode, and then creative, right like so, boom, and hit enter, and boom, we're now in creative, and we can fly around, so it's set on game mode to creative, and I believe if we double chat, yep, we can fly up and down with the normal bedrock controls. It's, it's truthfully impressive what you can do. And again, we are on Java Edition on this other account, move around, fly around, all the stuff like we can on the same server with a Nick King account playing from a mobile phone and the Nick's Games account playing from normal Java Edition. So there you have it. That is how you can set up Geyser and allow mobile clients to play on Minecraft Java Edition servers. This works for Windows 10 Edition. This works for Android Minecraft. This works for all of them. It's very, very cool, very, very incredible, and just overall amazing, right? So I am so excited to see more servers roll this out. We're looking into rolling this out on Breakdown Craft. Spoiler alert there. But um, overall, absolutely incredible. I think it's going to be great for the Minecraft industry to have both of these being able to come together on some of the best servers in the world, that being Java Edition servers. So there you have it. If you have any questions about this, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy Geyser. This is more complicated. The FAQ is in the description. You probably will have issues. You probably will have bugs, but that's okay. You lean on your support. That's going to be your Apex Minecraft hosting support. That's going to be on your other support entities for where your server is hosted. And if you're like this server and you're just hosting it on your own computer, lean on Geyser. Geyser has a great Discord that you can go join and check out and get help with. So nevertheless, that is how you can set up Geyser on your Minecraft server. If you have any questions, again, let us know in the comment section down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. My name is Nick, and I am out. Peace.